There exist multiple strategies for being large, the most common of which is being multicellular, that is to have a macroscopic body that consists of multiple individual cells. It is also possible for a macroscopic body to consist instead of just a single cell. In this case, in order to have gene products spread throughout the organism, it's necessary to have multiple nuclei throughout that single cytoplasm. This state is known as being xenocytic. There are a number of organisms that in fact are xenocytic, that is, that are relatively large and consist of only a single cell filled with multiple nuclei. An example of this are the Vaucheria algae. These algae, again, are macroscopic. They contain a single cytoplasm. The cytoplasm has a large central vacuole uh, that basically is found throughout the algae. And surrounding this vacuole are nuclei as well as chloroplasts. A second example of xenocytic, more or less macroscopic organisms are fungi that lack septa between individual cells. Instead, their body, or thallus, consists of a single cell, that is, a single cytoplasm surrounded by a single plasma membrane, and within that cytoplasm are suspended multiple individual nuclei. Plasmodial slime molds are also xenocytic. Here we have, again, multiple nuclei found within a single cytoplasm in relatively large macroscopic organisms. You also see the xenocytic state in plasmodium. Plasmodium is the parasite that causes malaria. During their infection of red blood cells, they go through multiple rounds of mitosis without corresponding cytokinesis. This is then followed by multiple rounds of cytokinesis that converts the relatively large multinucleated cell, the schizont stage, into individual single nucleide cells. So this is one approach to being large. It allows the organism to transport materials throughout its body by using normal intracellular transport mechanisms rather than relying instead or having to develop uh, extracellular means of transport throughout the body of the organism. And as we've seen, there are a number of organisms that do display the xenocytic strategy towards being relatively large. Uh, but nonetheless, the majority of macroscopic organisms are macroscopic because they're multicellular. They contain multiple cells that more or less contain just a single nucleus.